Hello, my name is Axel Hellstrand. I work uh, at the municipality of Upplands Väsby. It's a uh, municipality, it's a suburb of uh, the north of Stockholm. It's uh, somewhere in the middle there, you could see it written right there. Uh, we are a city that was formed in 1952, so we're a relatively young city or a young municipality. Uh, we have 40,000 inhabitants and uh, we have quite a dense city center, uh, so we, we don't say that we're just uh, rural, we're, we're quite urban anyway. Uh, main transportation uh, methods is the E4 uh, National Highway and also the, the East Coast Railway main line running through different parts of the, the, the city center. Uh, I think uh, many of you uh, have, who has come by, uh, by plane via Arland Airport has already passed the Plans Vespi on the way to Stockholm. So I'd like to say uh, welcome, welcome and, and on your way back you will see it again. Uh, Vespe, the municipality of Vespe is a member of uh, the Compass Network, which is a network uh, <coughs> loosely connected to, to the ITS that we arranged in this conference. Uh, and it's made up of uh, municipalities in Sweden who are interested in, in these kinds of matters. If, if they want to build or, or research uh, a podcast system or a PRT system. Uh, we have been a member for a few years now and, uh, and uh, following the, the development in the field. And uh, our uh, politicians in the Planning and Environmental Committee commissioned a pilot study, or a pilot survey, for us to, to see what are, what are the ways that we could implement such a system, or uh, what, what could be the, the main, main issues to, to consider. Uh, I was in it and we had uh, representatives from the, the different planning, planning disciplines of, of the city planning office. We had a land development engineering uh, engineer looking at what land could be possible uh, to, to acquire to build a system if it wasn't our own and if it was our own it's, it was good. We had uh, architects uh, to see like how would, uh, how would the streets look, how, how would the uh, how would um, the, the Stadsrum, <laughs> it's a Swedish word. Uh, anyways, uh, we uh, also uh, uh, had uh, consultants, uh, pod car experts and architects and, and traffic uh, consultants doing much of the work. So what for, why pod cars? Uh, to the right you can see a picture of the, the main approach for the highway, it's called uh, Glädjen or, or the joy uh, and on this picture uh, there aren't as much traffic as it is today uh, we are experiencing that, uh, that this, this uh, intersection is uh, getting very congested as well as some other central parts and, and roads in the center of Vaspi uh, so we need to do something about that and also for uh, from a city planning planner's view we need to take care of, uh, of the, the road noise, which is uh, kind of a big problem for us when we're planning. Uh, when, but we also need what, you all know what a PRT system is, of course, but we would like our citizens to, to be able to move around, maybe to have those who are, don't uh, own a car or don't have a driver's license to be able to move around and uh, <laughs> make our own city a place to move around to. Because now many people just go into the center, uh, city center, the Stockholm city center, instead of staying in Vespi, somewhat uh, because of the lack of transportation. Uh, we also uh, want to grow as a city, so we, we want to have more uh, land to build <coughs> on, and uh, fewer parking spaces would uh, very much accommodate that. Uh, but we also uh, have the need to explore, to explore new technologies and uh, to try to be at the forefront in some way. I, I put in a picture of uh, Vikings because uh, we had many Vikings in, in Vaspi. They were great explorers. 
So we want to try to carry on that tradition. We, from, from before doing the pilot study, we know podcasts. It's kind of like a roller coaster with a quite a big computer uh, controlling it. So of course uh, this should be able to be to be built, but nobody until the Ultra and Heathrow hasn't really built one. Not the one that we're that we want, anyways. We said it's uh, if you want to build it today, it would be very expensive. One of the main points of the podcast system is that it's inexpensive, but we said, well, were we kidding? It's going to be expensive if, it, if we build it today. And uh, we have uh, a great thing that we won't utilize more land, but something will happen to the, to the, to the landscape in regards to, to seeing cracks in the air, or, or instead of asphalt on the ground. Um, and uh, also it's a very good thing because uh, Below ground in Vasp, it started to get a bit corrupted with the, with the sewage line and water lines and, and uh, cables of different kinds. And if you want to do a uh, a podcast system, you need to look to our city's inhabitants or your own city's inhabitants. And we felt that uh, speaking speaking to to them and trying to communicate this issue. They, they said, yeah, this sounds interesting, let's, let's, why not, let's try it. Uh, that was, of course, be before they see what the price tag will be or what the, the rise in taxes would be. But uh, to start with, they, they said that this, this could be done. And also, uh, I, I wrote down political coherence as a good thing, uh, meaning that uh, our politicians said, okay, let's evaluate this. If this is a good thing, we could build it. If it isn't a good thing, we shouldn't build it. So we begin uh, with a blank slate and, and see if, is this, if this is something for us. Uh, we also know, knew that uh, we couldn't just count uh, kroners and uh, minutes in regards to transportation. We also wanted to probe issues such as architecture and, and uh, uh, feasibility financing studies. We also knew uh, that we are not alone in, in, uh, in amongst the, the municipalities in Sweden who wants to, to build a PRT system. Uh, Lars mentioned that this is not a race to see who gets the first one, uh, the first PRT, PRT system. But if it was a race, we were not uh, winning it. So we said, why not, why not try to, to make this study and see if, like, prepare something for, for uh, future investors or future... Uh, um, future, what's the word? Virginia. Uh, anyways, uh, if there was to be a, a PRT system built in the future, we would be prepared. Uh, so when we did uh, the study, we expected that we would uh, have uh, uh, like a network layout of the of the city. So where would uh, the train, uh, the tracks go, and where would the stations be? <coughs> We uh, expected to see like what are the main problems, what are the main issues. We expected to see if whether or not this is a financial feasibility and uh, construction-wise feasibility. Could we put down the, the poles? Could we bridge the gaps over the uh, the highway? Could we make room enough for uh, the crowded, most crowded places? Uh, during our work. We, we met with the consultant groups, of course, uh, who we had many meetings with and, and carried out the work. But we also uh, had brief meetings with the, the Transport, Transport Association of Stockholm, SL, and some of the neighboring cities. Uh, I, more, more specific, uh, we talked a bit with uh, uh, Mashta and Sigtuna municipality. And, uh, there is a, a big company in Uppland's Vespi who has their offices, their Swedish offices there, they're called Siemens, and they could be interested in, in, in the future building kind of these systems. So we invited them to our offices and showed them what we were working on. We identified our uh, transport system, uh, uh, public transport uh, wise, that 
we are uh, actually trying to get people to go to the to the commuter train station, uh, which connects the Plans for Aspi to <coughs> Stockholm. And uh, th this is basically the way it's the buses run in, in Vaspi. And uh, thinking about that, still, still uh, trying to get people to get to the station, but also maintaining uh, local connections. We, the consultants, showed this as a possible network, as a first network. We did some uh, economic uh, studies. It said that uh, the investment cost of our system, system would be 1.4 uh, billion. Kroners. Uh, if you, it's one krona is one tenth of a euro. So, if you wanna do the calculation yourself, or uh, 54 million kroners per kilometer of track. Uh, this is uh, what a station could look like in the uh, Plans Vespe. Uh, you see, this is the Plans Vespe shopping mall or the Plans Vespe centrum. And in the in the background, if you look, I'll show you with the pointer. Kind of, kind of neat, I think. Discreet, but also very accessible. So this could be a future straight station. Uh, when we got the, the the report from the consultant, the, the study, we said, uh, "Oh, this is not the miracle solution. We we might need to use buses anyway, uh, and this does not co cover all the." the remote parts of, of Vespi <laughs> and uh, it becomes quite clear when you, when you think about it that uh, a city has to be quite densely populated to, to support this but we were uh, thinking about uh, if this, this system could be made even bigger and, and promote uh, city, city growth in the, in the more remote remoter parts but we also know that uh, this system could be and would be quite scalable, so uh, we had thought we had a good place to start. Uh, questions that remains to be answered, though, for the PRT system: we know how much money it will use and how much we, money we will need, and uh, but we don't know where that money will come from. I don't think that uh, many municipalities, uh, not mine at, uh, anyways, could, uh, could support this uh, investment. We would, we would have to have uh, this participation of uh, the mm, Transport uh, Association of Stockholm or, or even the government or maybe some private, uh, private uh, companies. It remains, it remains to be seen. Uh, we need to find out if the, for instance, if uh, the public, the transport association doesn't want to be to run to be the administrator of this system, should we do it? Because uh, right now we don't really have that expertise uh, to to run to run a PRT system, uh, and we don't really know how to go go about actually saying, okay, we want it, so now what? The, the tracks won't go there automatically, so. There's a lot of uh, lot of ways to, to find out how do we plan this and how do we secure the land and uh, what standards to use. Of course, it's a big big issue. Uh, we have uh, talked about standards. It's a, it's a big big issue. Whether or not we should uh, decide on a standard our own from one of the suppliers of PRT systems, or, or if you should uh, wait and see what uh, what uh, the market does. Uh, so what's next for Vespe? I say we finalize and uh, have this study as a background and as a future future material for discussion. We uh, know which streets could be uh, could be uh, could be used in future for a PRT system and do not block them off, or we do not we do not uh, we do don't. Uh, this allows us the, the, the possibility to build a PRT system where we know that it would be a good thing to build. Uh, we are, should also work uh, as a mobility management that we should make uh, maybe not external shopping centers uh, that is emerging some, some diff different places in the Stockholm area, 
maybe concentrate our our, our housing and our service establishment and shopping to, to the city center and uh, try to to make them accessible without cars and uh, if we succeed this could be a future site in Vaspin you could see the E4 highway and also ki kind of discreet but also uh, kind of nice a, a bridge carrying PRT cars this was the last slide but I wanted to show you a video about whether or not to be an early adopter. It doesn't have very much to do with the PRT system, but uh, 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 new technology in general. So, enjoy. No, don't enjoy. Take some seconds. Mm -hmm. Just wait. Ah, oh, never mind. Uh, thank you very much for listening and uh, have a nice trip through Blas Vespida once we're going back to Arlanda Airport. <laughs> <laughs>